Are your parents drinking a lot of coffee? I am. So if they're drinking coffee, or maybe someone else is, you might have coffee filters. Take one. Okay, it doesn't have to be these. My coffee maker uses the cone ones, but you can use the flat ones. We are going to make flowers. So to do this, if you have these materials, you can make it. You need a coffee filter, markers. If you have washable, those are better. I don't, but it still works. Then you're gonna need a pipe cleaner, any color. I grabbed green because I want it to look like a stem. And then you need some sort of cup. Um, I'm using one of my kids' uh, little cups. And then good old hairspray. All right, so here's how you do it. Pick out some colors that you like. I'm gonna choose orange, some warm colors. Um, pinks, yellows, maybe reds, and you're gonna color it. You're gonna color your whole coffee filter. This does not have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be precise. You're just gonna wanna get the color on there. Don't forget about the edges. So even this, like, mine has these, um, like, ridged texture. I'm sure it's because of the way the coffee filter is layered. Okay, so this is okay. I could definitely put more color there, but don't forget the back. So you're gonna wanna do the back too. And this won't work with Sharpie. So if you have Sharpies, this probably won't work, right? Because you're gonna want the markers to kind of bleed and blend a little, and Sharpie is not gonna do that. Now, it will go through both sides at the same time, so that's cool. Um, but what you could use Sharpie for is after you get a lot of color on, ooh, look at that side. See, nothing fancy, not fancy. You can if you want, you know, if you wanted to take your time, you can. What Sharpie would be cool with is if at this point you want to write something on there, you want to draw a design that won't melt away, that's when you want to use Sharpie for something like this. But you're gonna want regular markers to do this first. So, this part is done. Now, you probably want to do this with a, a parent, and of course permission, especially since you're taking a coffee filter. So you have, and you're taking someone's hairspray. So you're gonna shove the coffee filter in the cup. Put it in there however you want. Okay. All right, so hairspray. So you're gonna squirt it in. Don't breathe in those fumes. I'm gonna get the outside. So see, look what's happening. It's already like melting away. Don't get this in your coffee either. Parents, if you're doing this, save the coffee. All right, there we go. Nice, healthy coat of hairspray. Now within minutes, especially if you did washable, these colors are gonna start to blend and melt together, like it's happening there, okay? In about maybe an hour, I were you or you can flip this upside down so that this can dry and the colors will pour down that way too, which is cool. So that guy is done for here. Now you're gonna give drying time. Dun, 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 dun. So me and Vincent, my son is one, um, we did this yesterday. And so he helped me put some scribble marks on there. Like, look at those beautiful scribble marks. And then I went um, over and put some more color on there too. So once it's all dry, so this is like crunchy hard from the hairspray, you're gonna grab your pipe cleaner, squeeze the bottom of the filter of where the bottom will be. And it's already starting to look more like a flower shape that way. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze this. I'm gonna wrap my pipe cleaner around the bottom. Dun, 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 dun. I kind of do it um, tightly because my kids, <laughs> when they walk around with these things, slide them around and Piper goes around smacking things with them like it's a wand. So Piper is my daughter and she is four today. It's her birthday. So anyways, put it on tightly if you have someone that's pretty rough with it. I went ahead and twisted a leaf. Uh, you don't have to do that, but we're having these lovely bouquets now that we can make, you know, little spring centerpieces with, or we can hang them with. Piper yesterday was wrapping them around her, um, 
her little wrists and wearing them around like flower bracelets. So this is the flower bouquet, your little coffee filter flowers. So it's something fun to do, super easy, any age, even you, parents, adults, um, something fun for you to do. So if you give it a try, send me pictures, I wanna see them. Thank you.